Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' with Crackin' It's Steve. About to react to this Choice TV vid. It's titled, YouTube's Biggest Liar and Narcissist, Nicado Avocado. I know it's Nicado Avocado. I like Nicado Avocado. <laughs> um, but, yes, I want to hear what he has to say. I know Nick has a lot of drama in his past. I remember even reacting to... Uh, the situation with Stephanie. So, oh, I remember I got a lot of backlash from that video. <laughs> Listen, I've been having unpopular opinions for a very long time now, and I don't even realize they're unpopular until people respond to it. And I'm just like, oh, I guess they don't feel the same. <laughs> I guess they're mad about it anyway. Um, but yeah, I remember he was uh in in a lot of drama. Um, so people don't really like him like that. And this whole situation with him saying. You know, he, he lost weight for a social experiment. Like, obviously, we know that's bullshit. I didn't really go into detail about it in, in the vid because, you know, I'm like, he's doing something good for himself. He's losing weight. We don't need to dissect the obvious. Like, clearly nobody is ruining their body and uh, putting themselves in this terrible situation where they could have a heart attack, they could die just for a social experiment. That's That doesn't make any sense. But he, he plays into this character and like likes to do this dramatic shit. So I just let it rock and just let him have his moment. I'm like, sure, he lost weight. That, that's all that matters, right? But yeah, I guess people are like breaking down his uh, character and why he's a terrible person. He's a liar, a narcissist. So yeah, let, let's just hear what Troy has to say. Let's watch. Some viewers may find this disturbing. Viewers Your discretion is advised. Hi, my loves. It's Destin Choice, a watching Choice TV. For today's video, I decided to get on here and talk about Nicocado Avocado and all the controversy he's spreading right now. Having lost 250 pounds off of my body. And just yesterday, people were calling me fat and sick and boring. People are the most messed up creatures on the entire planet. So I'm pretty sure most of y'all have heard about Nikon Avocado losing a crap ton of weight and getting on the internet and gloating about the fact that he conducted a social experiment just to see how bad the media around him can be. And essentially, he claims to do a social experiment just to show how evil and conniving the so social media can be and how they pick people apart for just little things. So if y'all know who Nikon Avocado is, God bless your soul, who has been on YouTube for damn near a decade. He's been known for his violin videos, and then eventually he was known for his vegan videos and his food videos where he ate all types of fruits and veggies and traveling and vlogging and so much more. He eventually transitioned to doing mud banks, but he eventually transitioned from being a vegan to eventually transitioning into doing more junk food. And of course, he gained a lot of virality. I forgot to do a mug bong when I was in um, South Korea. How iconic would that would have been? Oh, what that would have been how iconic would that have been <laughs> since mukbangs originated in south korea i'm pretty sure um and you know i could have did one when i was out there but it was a lot of stuff going on i didn't have time but yes if you're interested in seeing my south korea vlog it is over on my second channel uh, d chanel tv check it out link down below in popularity because i mean he was eating some absurd amount of shit and this is coming from me you know i've had my time and days where i have fucked up some you know mayonnaise and spaghetti and you know put some maple syrup in my cereal i've done it all you know i love my weird food combinations however man spaghetti choice on, i kind of had to turn it down a little bit because Jail. i saw people like nicado avocado and i saw what happened to him today oh my god i'm actually shaped like my water weight <laughs> oh my gosh, literally, I am shaped like a droplet. <laughs> I don't want these doodles. I don't want <laughs> Stupid noodle. <laughs> Stupid. He did this shit because it was getting him a lot of money. And let me just say that junk food definitely does fry your brain because he definitely stirred a lot of virality on the internet because he has completely made a fool of himself multiple times throughout the years. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I have no problem with Pablo Picasso at all. I actually found his content to be entertaining. Really? However, what kind of turned me off over time that was, was because I didn't like the constant wastefulness of food. And that's what some people look at mukbangers. Some people look at mukbangers as promoting gluttony and wastefulness and just smacking and chewing and so much more. But I did enjoy the content. It just I couldn't get down with the whole wastefulness and getting a broom and throwing food everywhere. <laughs> mukbang actually i ain't on camera i mean i like a dedicated eating video but i ain't on camera <laughs> and by the way it's definitely mukbang you gotta watch the korean people talk about it and, and name it because they named it it's their it's their shit they say mukbang and people mukbang mukbang or whatever y'all be calling it it's mukbang <laughs> that's how they say it Cheese for me. But anyway, that's we are redoing it and he never ate anything good, bro. All this shit is nasty. Wendy's? I can't. How did people like watching this? And that's when I checked out because Len had done that shit in my house. <laughs> my granny would have fucked him up. Fucked him up if he did some shit like that. So Where is Ordo? Did he lose weight? Shit everywhere. I just don't get down with where that. Because coming from me, someone that grew up po, where we didn't have any fucking money growing up, Wasting food is like a big no no and a big trigger for me. So or they're gonna expose his food, ass. Or they're gonna come out and be like, <laughs> "This nigga is lying." Even though we know, we know he lying. No goddamn social experiment. But or they're gonna come out and be like, "Listen here, this is what really happened." You know what I mean? If the food is good, I hear there's no need to throw it all over the place, especially for content. You know, in a world of social media, people are constantly wasting food. Mm -hmm. It just triggered me a little bit when I see people do shit like that. So I just kind of navigated away from his content. But he definitely does have a mental health issue. It's pretty evident, and he's even said this numerous times in interviews. So it seemed like to me a cry for attention and validation. So I obviously never really paid it any mind. And it was very obvious that he's been trolling all this time when he does these things. Like being adopted and I'm gr like growing up, were you someone who needed attention, who wanted attention? Yeah, I was in and out of therapy since I was like five. Oh, yeah. well why were you in therapy in the first place? <sighs> Behavioral issues, so I would like want attention. So maybe yes, maybe you're right. Were you <laughs> loud, were you obnoxious, were you being mean? What was your attention seeking? All of it. Well, I don't know about meanness, but definitely just like, yeah, just like one of the spotlight, which is so different of how I am now, especially off camera. I'm very kind of just like reserved and stuff, but I'm surprised they would want to put you in therapy. That seems like a normal thing. A five-year-old is as loud sometimes as to be. Yeah, they put me on medication, too. At five? Or seven. Seven was my first time. Seven? So loft, yeah. No. Yeah. And of course, Nikon Avocado got tons of attention. So he got attention. major endorsement deals. He was able to buy multi-million um, dollar penthouses. And he was even able to collect <coughs> with Raven Depression Small. medication. This that dude was definitely on top of his game. However... He recently disappeared off of social media, and a lot of people were very confused as to what happened to him. So Nick Cone Avocado went on YouTube recently, a couple days ago, and his video gained over 10 million views in under 24 hours. And that's fucking insane because YouTube videos don't get views like that anymore. You know, not even Cardi B or big name musicians are getting views like that in just under 24 hours anymore. And he claims that he conducted a social experiment to mentally fuck with people, to show people how everybody can be very conniving and mean and nasty on the internet. That even make the sense. whole time we thought that he was fat six months ago, he was really just pre-recording a lot of videos two years prior and that he was already starting his weight loss journey back in 2022. Now, this is on another level of being a sick fuck. Like, you gotta be a sick fuck to hold a social experiment on for two years and to poison your body with all that fast food and saturated fat just to prove a point about how slimy and judgmental people are. So he did an interview with NBC News and he literally said, oh, I edited the video so that they would appear recent, allowing me to focus on healing my body behind the scenes. Nicola Avocado wrote in an email to NBC News, I shaved my head so that people wouldn't recognize me in public. That's a handful of fellow you YouTubers also face. helped me to keep my secret. Claiming that this was going on for two years. Now, a piece of me read that and thought to myself, what? To put saturated fats and all that nonsense in your body and to make yourself morbidly obese just to prove a point about how slimy and conniving people can be just for you to turn around and lose the weight afterwards? It's insane, but it low-key is kind of genius because, of course, he got the viewership he happened. was expecting plus more. On top of that, he also addressed... Bro, this nigga got fat because it was giving him, it was getting him views. He was making a lot of money from it. That's why he got fat. He was getting rich from that shit. And it got to a point where his health was probably 
you know, declining very, very quickly. Probably has some health issues. And he's just like, you know, I can't keep this up forever. I got I to gotta stop. I got to lose weight. And, he, of course, he wanted to do it in secret so he could come back and just shock everybody. Because, of course, how iconic is that? How lit would that be? So that's what he did. That's it. It wasn't no, I got fat for eight years, however long it was, just to show that people are rude online. That, what sense does that make? It, whoever is believing this, I don't I don't understand. I'm confused. That that doesn't make it. We already know people are rude online. We, we know. What, what? That don't make sense. Why he had a panda mm-hmm. on his head? Because he just popped in on camera with a panda and literally said, the reason for the panda was, in the world of social media, I wanted to show that everything is not as black and white as oh, the bye. Then proceeded to say, weird. while everybody pointed and joking. laughed at me for over-consuming food, I was in total control the entire No, you wasn't. Time. You, you know what was not in control? Your heart, okay? <laughs> your, your organs were, were shutting down. That You wasn't in control of shit because you could have dropped dead of a heart attack at any time. That's stupid. That's goofy. You were not in control of anything. Just say, but of course, this, this is more interesting, okay? This is more genius. Well, it's really not because, again, I feel like I don't even know why I even need to say this. It's so obvious. That's not what he was doing, but... Of course, he has to plan to this for his YouTube channel. He's an entertainer. He's a content creator. So he's doing this for content. So cool. Play into this narrative, I guess. But you going on the news and shit and trying to really paint out this whole story. Boy, shut up. How the avocado wrote to NBC That doesn't make sense. In reality, people are completely absorbed in internet personalities and obsessively watch their content. That is where a deeper level of overconsumption lies. And it's the parallel I wanted to make. What? Bye. Now, a piece of me is kind of side-eyeing this because you really sat up there and pre-recorded two two years worth of content. I don't see how that's possible. And if it is possible, a piece of me doesn't want to believe. He wasn't even with- posting that often. If you go look at his channel, he wasn't posting that often. So it wouldn't have been difficult for him to, you know, record some videos. And as you're losing weight, like, he still was fat for a bit. Like, you know, so he could have been doing that for months. Like, recording this pre-recorded content for months and then just spread it out because he wasn't it's not like he was posting every week it lost journey two years ago and some people's even was coming out and saying like where's where is he at like he's been gone for a minute people have been saying this for a minute now so he wasn't posting a lot a little fishy it's genius and smart and it really shows that a lot of y'all don't really know content creators that well to just call them fat and gross and just doing he shit was fat and gross they really just show that social media is just <laughs> an illusion what what point did you make nick what they want and then they can manipulate things however they want nothing was manipulated you were fat you but what are we me, talking about i was still kind of side-eyeing this you were all beat today i woke up and you could have died very long dream and i also woke up now he about to piss me off. Having lost 250 pounds off of my body. Now he got on the camera being creepy as fuck and you would think that it was a horror film with the way he got on camera. He claims he started his weight loss journey in 2022 and that he was just pre-recording videos for the past two years according to his NBC News interview. He has made it clear in the past that a lot of his life is a social experiment. So I'm surprised that a lot of people are surprised. However, I do think this is just probably one of his many tricks of just trying to, you know, stir controversy in the YouTube streets. And a piece of me thinks that this is just all some type of calculated plan to make everybody think that he was always ahead of them the whole time. He wasn't, bro. Because what, what, what is, is more interesting and makes for better content? You posting monthly updates and saying, hey, I'm on a weight loss journey. Or you disappearing and being fat in one video and in the very next video you 250 pounds down and you like listen i set this all up y'all niggas thought i was still fat i'm skinny bitch like obviously that <laughs> is better for content so sure i support that but this fake story behind it bye meanwhile bye. he really wasn't me nigga avocado and let me tell you let me tell you why i'm upset it's actually your fault Last month, I made a YouTube video and I said, Why does this even need to be said? You know what? I'm not sure. My life on the internet is a big social experiment. So, a piece of me feels like he's not telling the truth, and here's why. Candace Owens recently reacted mm-hmm. to him on her YouTube channel. Now, we know Candace Owens as the political commentator that ruffles a lot of people's feathers. For some reason, because Candace Owens ran out of shit to talk about and Trump is in office, she of course decided to talk about things going on in pop culture and Nick Cobb, Nick Cobb Avocado 
was one of her topics. <sighs> she got on the cam she got on camera and she basically explained how Nicolas Avocado is gluttonous and gross, and then he eventually reacted to her. Discussing social media. In previous episodes, we have discussed what women are it's doing for attention now. They're setting up their cameras and crying, pretending to be sick in some videos, or just opening up about a bad relationship. And Is she calling me a woman? Oh, he's so disgusting, bro. So shame on you. You don't know nothing about me. And watch. his his social experiment story makes no fucking sense because it's not like he was on camera being innocent and just being fat and just living his life. People were bullying him for no reason. No, you were so unlikable. So people was talking shit about you because they didn't like you. You farting and burping and, and doing all type of stupid shit on camera and rubbing ranch all over your face. Of course, people are going to have a negative reaction to that. So what is the social experiment you're trying to prove? What is the point? This is dumb. <laughs> in my videos, I never finish the food in my videos. Sometimes, yes, but most of the times, no. And I give it out to the needy and the poor when I'm done. What do you do with, when you're done your food? You throw it into the trash, most likely. I actually have been feeding the homeless for seven years with my scraps. Oh, have some compassion. I feel my damn homeless. Kyle, I hate you myself. You feed homeless people after you and that's make bad smack the worse. food with the girl? He girl? also did another that video throwing jabs at her again, basically telling her to mind her business and much more. Even though this is, not, this is just air to help because I actually have an asthma condition. And remember when Candace Owens said, oh, he needs a BiPAP ventilator. First of all, this is called a CPAP, lady. You're so ignorant. This is a CPAP, not a BiPAP, number one. Number two, if I was skinny, though, you wouldn't even say anything, even though most people that use these things are skinny. Um, roof ragged? Uh, are you sure these videos were recorded two years in advance? You recorded two years worth of content and edited to- He didn't say that. He said he's been posting pre-recorded videos for two years. Make them look recent? How was Candace Owens reacting to him and then him reacting to her literally a year ago, which was about like, what, a year and six months ago? I don't see how that was two years ago. That. It sounds like he was recording videos in 2022, 2023. Maybe like the beginning of 2023. Mind you, he lost 250 pounds. When you got that much weight to lose, you're going to look fat for a long time. Okay? I talk about Amber Lynn Reed a lot on this show. <laughs> but if you look at her videos, she, she could lose like 50 pounds. She's still, she still obese. She still look fat as hell. All right? So, people who are really big, like, they can, they can lose a lot of weight in the beginning and still look really big. So... He was still re recording videos in those two years. And as the weight loss started to get more drastic, probably 2023 and into 2024, he stopped recording videos. Because it's like, uh, in these videos, I'm starting to look too skinny. So, all right, I, I'm, I just have this pre-recorded content. Like, you recorded, he said, for two years. 2022 to 2023. So, probably all of 2022. Maybe not early 2023. Look at me trying to figure out how he did it. <laughs> Maybe not all of, no, maybe, not, maybe not early 2023, but all of 2022 and maybe most of 2023, all right? And then he, like, started, no, because we in September. Yeah, maybe maybe he started to really look drastically skinny this year. I don't fucking know what he means. Just doesn't make any sense. So now I'm starting to realize that his timeline just isn't adding up, and clearly he's just lying. I mean, you know? yeah. <laughs> That's what it comes down to, okay? I'm not this nigga. I don't know what the fuck he did. No, I, don't, I, I can't figure it out. But <laughs> all I know is he on some bullshit. I know this whole thing is stupid. Avocado has been known to be I'm trying to make kind of sense of something that don't make sense. That's the problem. Honey and manipulative and very much an evil genius. And I do feel as though that he's capitalizing off of shock value with world. outrage. And of course, people are buying it and eating into it. And of course, he's capitalizing off the fact that people on the internet yeah, are very, very stupid and don't fact check and don't fully look in and read into things before they automatically yes. make assumptions. So I don't believe that he lost all that weight within two years. I don't believe that he was taking a break within two years. It's obviously not true, and clearly he's lying about that. In my honest perspective, when it comes to Nikado Avocado's weight loss, I don't know how long good for him. I don't really give a fuck that much. People are obviously very consumed with the fact that he lost all that weight because he was fat as hell, but coming from someone that once, of course, was, you know, fat as a fucking whale. Hi, my loves. 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 All right, Hi, my loves. <laughs> Hi, my loves. We see. Hi, guy. 
you know, that's your choice. And you're watching Twitch TV. Hi, my loves. Hi, my loves. Taurus, wrap this up. Hi, my loves. I just did mukbangs for fun and for enjoyment. And what people oh, don't realize about a lot I of people who do mukbang videos, people assume oh. that people who do mukbang videos are fat as fuck because of the mukbang videos, when that's not the case at all. You know, just to use myself as an example, I wasn't fat as hell because I of mukbangs. I hate when people I eat like that. Watch your mouth. I was binge eating. I was spending $600 a month I'm on eating out it. because I was constantly working from home. Well, now I'm like on a weight loss journey, so my binge eating is uh, under control. But when I'm not eating healthy, I can binge eat like crazy. At my computer, checking emails, getting things done, researching. That's you know, how people get really fat. Time, you know, not eat. leaving the house as much. So I didn't really care about my self-image. People who care about their self-image are people who oftentimes go out in the world or are in an industry where they're oftentimes looked at. But I just didn't give a fuck. I didn't care about my looks. I didn't care about my self-image or my appearance at all. I just cared about hustling and grinding and trying to survive. And I was always on my computer doing it. So while I would be at my computer, I was constantly like, okay, let me order some P.F. Chang's. Let me order some wings. Let me order some this. Okay. Damn, okay, I don't want these wings no more. Let me just order some ice cream now. Or I'm craving something sweet. I need something sweet. So I would order like some some fried ice cream or then I would order a Cuban sandwich. And then what I would used to do was this was this was some fat ass shit. I never told you about this. I would order plethora of more food and I would literally meal prep with all the fast food I was ordering. So I would have like six oh, Cuban no, sandwiches. No. I would have like five McDonald's McChickens. And then I would have like two large fries and two to warm that up And I would just like meal prep and put it in my fridge and then I would eat the food gradually every single day. So instead of cooking and eating oatmeal or eating, you know, something healthy like eggs or anything that would like obviously give me protein i was constantly eating all these sugary and fat induced foods and i was eating that and it was all in my fridge so it okay. wasn't the mukbangs it was the binge eating and that's what most people are victims of they're victims of their own binge eating a lot of y'all binge eat when you're bored a lot of y'all have anxiety some of y'all aren't even hungry some of y'all will be in traffic and will see a fancy restaurant and y'all will just pull up in the parking lot or go to the drive through and just quickly get some fast food or quickly get some wings from a restaurant and a lot of times you're not even hungry you're just nervous because you gotta go to work later or you're just eating because you're bored because you want to fill up your time because now you're on break a lot of us literally eat when we're bored so Eventually, I kind of lost all the weight from just eating sea moss, drinking a shit ton of lemon water, and just realizing that I was eating when I was bored. <laughs> so that's how I got fat as fuck. And then, of course, when I would see people like Nicole Avocado, I was like, yeah, I don't want to be like this big fat motherfucker. Let me just chill down and tone it down for a little bit. And I lost the weight for myself. And that's what weight loss should be. You should lose weight for yourself. Now, when it comes down to Nicole Avocado, Nicole Avocado, Avocado gaining virality and getting all this attention, it really is sad and pathetic and goes to show you how obsessed the internet is with people's self-image because let me just say that even though a lot of us on the internet will pick people apart or point out things like about other people it's normal we're humans but it really goes to show you how people are so obsessed with fat people let me just say that even though i lost weight i don't think his views being that high and people being interested in this is representative of that i i feel like it's because he's been fat for many years he's been not fat He's been morbidly obese for many years and he's been a, a joke on the internet for being this fat and smearing noodles and shit all over his face. He's been a joke, uh, an obese joke. So obviously when he pops up skinny out of nowhere, it's going to gain a lot of attention. I, I don't feel like that has to do with an obsession of, oh, somebody's fat, body weight. And it's like, wow, you, you made a huge change and it was overnight. Well, to us, because one video, you're fat, and you, you know, you're crying, and then your noodles or whatever, and then the next video, you put up your skinny. So people are like, wait, what the fuck? What happened? Obviously. <laughs> Eight, four years ago, people still to this day will comment and say, wow, you lost a lot of weight. Well, yeah, I have eyes, bitch. Or people will be like, oh my God, you used to be fat. Like, those are just little things people do. Like, people are obsessed I mean, that's with true, fat though. people. And people, it's, I guess it's fascinating. I think people, people just always wonder. How do fat people weight. get themselves to this point? How do fat people even... But, I don't, I don't know if obsessed is the right word. But, yeah, people do make comments about people's weight. I feel like the world in general is very fat phobic. Sure. But, he got a lot of attention for those reasons. That they I allow themselves to get there. I mean, there's a whole show on the TLC in America oh, where... Number? They exploit fat people and their issues and their abuse and the shit they've gone through. And they made a whole oh, television goodness. series that has millions of viewers every single week. 
So the world is so obsessed with fat people. Even Lizzo said that no matter what she does or what she says, people still look at her as the fat girl or the fat girl, body positivity. She could literally wear a she fucking made that her whole brand the beach, though. And then the people would literally just be like, see, this is what real bodies look like. Real bodies deserve this. People are so obsessed with fat people to the point where fat people start movements on TikTok trying to campaign for bigger and more spacious airplane seats and so much more. I'm on a mission to revolutionize the travel industry and make it a more accessible, accepting, accommodating place for all. I'm encouraging all plus size travelers know. to click the link in my bio and submit a comment now so that we can see a real change made when it comes to airplanes. So you what want to hear my exactly. take on plus size travel and why I think every plus size traveler should get a free second and even third seat on an airplane? Girl, go to hell. And That's sign ridiculous. My petition to make some real change. Or try to, you know, ask for like bigger hotels no you gotta pay hotel bathrooms that accommodate their unhealthy lifestyle and much more and i don't have a problem with fat people at all if you want to be a fat pig and yeah, a fat bitch then just be care. you do yourself do what you gotta do if you want to be a yeah, fat i'm not gonna bless you be delusional <laughs> <shaped ass bitch, laughs> in my fat. presence and me for me to agree with it oh yeah because i don't want to be fat phobic no you sound stupid that's your life and that's your business the issue when it comes down to being fat is this, is a lot of people are so obsessed with fat people and are picking people like the Nikocado Avocado and Lizzo part, but then some of y'all mamas big as hell. So some of y'all mamas would be big as hell, some of y'all nannies be fat as fuck, but y'all be picking apart people on the internet who be, who, who be fat as fuck. So for me, I never really had a problem with his mukbangs or his videos. For me, it was just a wasting food. And of course, the trolling. It and it was horrible. obvious that he was trolling and so much more. It was so obvious that he was getting on He was camera. also trolling Amber Lynn Reed. Now, mind you, I don't, she got on my nerves as well. <laughs> but I'm not about to get online and make fun of her and like, you know, because she's... No shade. I'm not trying to be rude, but she's she's not the brightest. Okay, so he would get online and make fun of her intelligence, her size, and you know, things she would say. Like he he trolled that girl up and down. Like he wasn't fat too wild. But yeah, he's not the greatest person. He promoted domestic violence with with Ordo for fucking views and shit. Like bro, so it's, it's not just because he was fat. And was wasting food. It was more to that. Where why people was talking shit about him, putting on an ad, and people were constantly buying into it and making videos saying, "Oh my God, we're so concerned about him. How can somebody be so grotesque and so disgusting and so this?" And realistically, he was just trolling everybody. And now look, he lost all I the weight. He, was he went trolling. viral, and now everybody is all over him and upset with his image. Not it kind of reminds me of the Adele situation. When Adele lost weight out of nowhere, out of nowhere, people started calling her a skinny legend. And people to this day are still fascinated by her weight loss when it's just like she just lost the weight. You know, people <laughs> always bring up how fat he, she used to be. Too let good. me just say this anyone that's ever been fat or never been fat, let me tell you something. You see the world differently, and you live in two different worlds. When you lose a whole bunch of weight, you start getting all kinds of attention. People are nicer to you. And when you're fat, people are heartless towards you, awkward towards you. People stare at you. People make comments about your appearance by saying shit like, oh, hey, big girl, or what's good, big boy, like shit like that. That's the kind of stuff you experience when you're big. And then all that goes away when you lose all that weight. So when you lose weight, you have to reintroduce yourself to people. And sometimes you kind of get to weed out who... I guess he's referring to maybe obese people, obesity. Because, I mean, and I mean, technically, I feel like, whatever, it's subjective. But I've been fat many times, all right? Many, many times, all right? And I'm, I'm currently on a weight, la weight loss journey now because I put on a lot of weight when I was traveling. Um, and, I mean, yeah, the world is fat phobic. People are, the world isn't fair, all right? <laughs> the world is racist, homophobic, fat phobic, all the phobics, okay? But I just don't feel like it's an excuse for everything. Because I feel like that's just people's go-to a lot of the time. Like, oh, you just don't like me because I'm fat. And, oh, you just you treat me this way because I'm big. And it's like, are you not agreeing with me because you're fatphobic? And it's like, no. <laughs> I don't think that should be a crutch all the time, you know? Who loved you for who you were yeah, and the people who only liked you because they like mocking you and making fun of you you know what i mean like some people are probably irritated about the fact that he lost weight because now they have nothing negative to say because he literally just lost the weight you know there are times where i lost weight and i had relatives and fake friends that were just like oh wow whereas you lost the weight okay wow or i had a cousin who literally looked at me one time when she saw me <coughs> and she was like oh, damn choice what happened to all your weight literally right in front of her friend you know weird shady shit like that you know that's just what happens when you lose weight you live in two worlds and you see the world for what it is 
and how when people how people act when you lose weight is how they really kind of feel about you internally. You know, if they liked you for you, if they just liked making fun of you, you know, so they kept you around for that. But in a long haul, I'll say this: when it comes down to mukbangs and mukbangers and eating videos, I don't think those videos are unhealthy or disgusting or disturbing. I think it just depends on how the person. I, I think it's nasty when they don't watch their camera. Why you shit on shit ton of food? That disgusts me. Literally gouging down Skinny like twenty thousand calories. Whatever. I hate them all. At that point, <laughs> you're going to hell in a handbasket. At that point, that's when I think it becomes unhealthy. But if you're just making content, having fun, and eating your food, I don't see a problem with that at all. Nicocado essentially won, whether he's lying or he's not. And that's just the way the internet works. With over 30 million views, this fat person who everybody thought was depressed and sad and lonely is laughing all the way to the bank. Congratulations, internet. You made somebody else famous. But after that, for this video, people should just like, comment, subscribe. I don't know. This is an interesting narrative. Uh, but yeah, he's claiming he had the last laugh. And I even said that in the initial video I reacted to. When he said that, like, oh, but I got the last laugh. I said, did you? <laughs> because again, this whole story is stupid. Doesn't make any sense. You got fat on purpose just to prove a point in social experience. Shut up. You got fat because you was making money from it. And okay, it, embrace it. And now you want to change your life and, and get skinny. And now you're getting a lot of views from it. And you real popular for it. Good for you. Do you. Live your life. But this story is stupid. <laughs> Am I tripping? Like, this is, this is dumb. And people, I guess people are believing it and feeding into it. I didn't feel like it needed to be explained that it was bullshit. I thought that it was just understood that he was planning, to, continuing to play into a character and, and be dramatic and, you know, do extras for the sake of content creation. I thought that was obvious. But I guess not. People are just like, oh, he's a genius and this was a plan the whole time. What? Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.